I just want to give out my thoughts and my opinions on this whole situation between Blizzard and, Act and Activision, basically, uh, for what I saw for last night. I never really, well, actually, I did record a couple of videos, but I, you know, deleted those, and I just said, like, uh, that's not, that's not really what really I want to say, but I just want to, you know, just give up my own opinions and give up my own thoughts, you know, about this whole situation. Like I said, for, with, you know, Blizzard and Activision, it's just, it just, from what I've, from what I've been hearing, it's just absolutely just disgusting. It really is, really is. Now, there's some issues, there's some things I just don't want to say out of context. There's some things I just don't want to say that YouTube may not like, may not, may not like what I had to say and stuff like that. As far as am I concerned, as far as am I concerned from what I do know, that, um, you know, this, with this whole situation, I, 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 I didn't know there was like a person who gave up their life. Uh, I, I wouldn't say like gave up the life though, just in the life because this whole situation and stuff like that, this is actually just very, very shocking to me and it's just stuff like that. From what I do know that, from what I do know that Activision and, um, and Blizzard are being accused, are being accused for sexual harassment and stuff like that in the workplace. Not only because of that, because basically, based what's going on, based what's going on in, in the workplace over, over at Blizzard and Activision. Because if you guys don't know, I think Activision owns Blizzard, or maybe Blizzard owns Activision. So I, I don't, I really don't know, because I really don't pay attention to really much at all and stuff like that. You know, if you guys don't know me, if you guys don't know me, I used to play World of World of Warcraft for, you know, for a long time. You know, I used to play, I used to play the game. Uh, you know, because the, the basically from what my understanding is that you know, because I mean. With my past history, with um, with my past history with the uh, World of Warcraft, I, I I really enjoyed doing battlegrounds, dungeons, raids, and stuff like that. I enjoyed I enjoyed a whole lot. I enjoyed a whole lot. I used to just mind my own business, just and, and you know, and just you know, just go wherever, go wherever where, where I feel like I want to go, you know, in the game. And you know, because the reason why I quit this game is just because it's just because you know the play style in this game. It, you, it's very simple to play, and, and it really is. Sometimes the quests can be a little bit sometimes hard for you to, to find and stuff, and stuff like that, you know, and, and stuff, you know. I've, like I said, I've been playing World of Warcraft for a really long time, but, but now I'm not playing anymore. But do I want to go back? Probably I do want to go back, but I went back like a couple of times, but then I just couldn't, I just couldn't because my computer is just not, does not have the space, does not have the space or anything like that, you know, to, to play it on because I, I don't, I don't have I don't have no I don't have no hardware for for this laptop to basically turn it into a gaming laptop which uh, I I don't plan to go back so I just figure I just figure I'm just not gonna go back and I just don't want to because you know it's just it's just in my opinions my opinions are about the World of Warcraft I really don't want to say those but the only thing I can pretty much just say is that just I just don't like doing the same thing over and over over and over and over again you know that's something I just don't like I just don't like doing. It's just doing repetitive things. You're just it's the same thing, just like I said, the same thing that's just over and over in in the game and stuff like that. You know, it's just you know I got a good experience. You know, playing Shadowlands. I didn't get up to level sixty, but I didn't. I decided to stop and I said, this is not worth it anymore. And now it's just like you know, I I want to play something something that I really enjoy, which I I um, last year not last year for Christmas, but it was right around two thousand nineteen for Christmas because you know I got an Nintendo Switch. I I play some of the Pokemon games where they have the Pokemon magazine book right down there. Actually, it's not a magazine; it's a, it's a guidebook. So I play some of that. I play some of that, and then I just kind of bored with the Switch. But yeah, I do want to definitely do want to go back to World of Warcraft. But um, but you know, best with this current state going on, probably not. I just don't. I just don't want to. You know, it's just it's just that the, this whole situation between Activision, you know, and Blizzard, is, is stuff like that. It's just I don't know who to blame. I don't know who to blame. I guess the blame is on Blizzard or Activision or something like that. I, I don't know because because I, I don't know how many games that Activision really actually owns because I really don't know. Some people don't like Activision at all because because basically what they're doing and stuff like that. Some people just want just want just want Blizzard just cut ties with Activision and you'll know, have somebody else that can help them out to make the you know make some of the games a lot more better. Because I've heard a lot of rumors people are just not happy with the state with the state they uh. A blizzard really actually in it really actually is and especially with this whole lawsuit between california going after going out going after activision and blizzard even though even though they made a statement they, they were sent they said they denied 
that all these things were wrong. And I, I don't know if that's really true or not. I, I have no idea. I don't work for Act. Uh, I don't work for Activision. I don't work for Blizzard. I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. Because you know, <laughs> to be honest, with you, I don't want to live in California because they have wild cards there. So, so no offense on that. But uh, it's just, it's just this, this whole situation is. I don't know what to say. This is like this is like a circus. You know, that's basically what it seems to me. It's this whole thing is like like a circus. It just really, really is. I, I just don't understand, like, why would Blizz and Activision would allow something like this to happen? I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right? But also, look at this. Look at this also, also this way. The CEO didn't do nothing about this whole situation. Nothing. They done nothing to, nothing of the situation. I think the I think the CEO needs to be stepped down from his position, being CEO of the company of Activision Blizzard. I, I don't know what to say. I I just think that the the CEO is just it's just I don't know. This this whole thing is just frustrating, man. It really is. It just makes me kind of frustrated. And uh, you know, I was basically looking for looking for if, what, what people, other people's opinions of a World War Cafe. I think there's uh, a girl, a girl who she, uh, I can't remember her name, can't remember her name. She said she works, she used to work for Activision or Blizzard. I don't think she said Activision or Blizzard. I, I'm not really sure. I think she said either both of them, something like that. And I, I don't know. She basically, also, I think she basically stated that you know that that they were, they were trying to force her to do things that she didn't want to do and, st and stuff like that. And and she just didn't didn't like it or anything like that. You know, it's just that it's just that like they, that they, they're calling our freight for a frat frat boy or something like that. No frat boy con content. No no uh, culture or something like that. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea. But uh, you know, it's it's just like I said for this whole situation. It's just very very frustrating. It's very very frustrating. You know, this is this is a company. You know, I used to give a lot of good praise for for you know for the numerous expansions. You know, so I I played on World of Warcraft for for many many years and I just really actually just enjoy it. I really really did but like I said before I just I just didn't like I just didn't like the whole concept you know just going back into the game and you know just experience the same things over and over again it's just that it's just that I just I just did not enjoy it I just did not you know I just need a break and stuff like that but you know so uh, I mean like I said before I, I really do want to go back but I can't because my computer because my computer, so I have to save up money to give me a new laptop. Hopefully, sometime very soon, if I can get me a new gaming laptop. But I don't know how long, how long that's gonna be. But uh, yeah, I also saw something very, very, very interesting from a YouTuber who's known as David Pajara. If you guys don't know who Pajara is, he's pretty big here on YouTube. Uh, he's pretty big on here on YouTube. I think he has like six hundred thousand, five hundred thousand of subscribers, and he was basically giving his whole, this whole opinions. And you could tell he's like he's asking, you know, like I think he's like. Asking the Twitch followers or stuff like that, you know, like what they do think, stuff like that. It was kind of very shocking, like when Bajer was giving out his thoughts, you know, thoughts about this. I don't know, I, I didn't see his video, I didn't see it, uh, so I probably would just basically, you know, just probably watch his video and see like what he has to say. So I mean, it was very, very shocking to me because bl what not what not Blizzard, but but what Bajer had to say about Blizzard and stuff like that, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. Now, I also saw something very, very shocking also as well too. What it was like last night. Um, if you guys don't know who's Michael is, Michael is is Bueller, uh, Bueller gamer or Bueller gamer or something like that. Uh, he talks about he talks about World of Warcraft really a whole lot. He said he was not gonna be able to not gonna be able to talk about this or something like that. I I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe he's very good friends with Blizzard, which I do, which I do think so because that's basically that's basically you know Blizzard's fanboy. You know you know him. No offense on Michael or anything like that. I have a lot of respect for him. He makes a literally. Uh, he makes a really a lot of good uh, a good content about the game. The dude's very, very smart, and you know sometimes he makes really long videos and stuff like that. You know, and he also has like another channel which he's uh, he does like gaming news and stuff like that and and, and stuff. So I mean, yeah. So um, I don't know what to say about this. I, I don't I don't know. I, I just I don't know. A lot of people are saying a lot of people are saying this could this could really be the the nail in the coffin for Blizzard. And Activision, so I, I don't I don't know if that's what's going to happen or not. I, I don't know. I really do not know. All I do know that Blizzard and Activision says they denied this whole situation, but based on what's going on, they say this, these things were just were just not that the the basically they were trying to say like these whole things were just not true. So I, I don't know if they were true or not. 
I don't know. I'm sorry, guys, but that that's just based from I, I don't I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's just I just don't feel right talking about this kind of situation. I just I just don't. And you know it's, it's just you know this is not policy thrones. This is relating you know the game and stuff like that. And, you know it's like I said for come from a player like let myself you know playing experience of you know play playing experience you know doing raiding battlegrounds dungeons stuff like that leveling up and stuff like having fun you know having fun you know and stuff you know on your free time and stuff like that you know or or whatever what or whatever that you know I, I want to do it just it's just I just I just I just I'm just in lost words right now <laughs> I'm not mad or upset I'm not mad or upset I'm just really just kind of I'm just really just kind of just like you know I'm just kind of frustrated and just kind of frustrated and confused but this whole situation is really happening because I used to admire Blizz really a whole lot, especially with the game, you know, and stuff like that. Because I, like I said, I had a lot of great memories of the game. I really should enjoy playing it, but I don't know. I don't know. So, so, so yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to disable the comments as well because I don't want people to say, like, I'm making up stories or something like that or whatever. And, you know, it's just I don't want to invite anyone, invite anyone to speak in negative negative about what I'm saying here or something like that. I, I don't want that to happen because I don't want that to happen. I'm just here just speaking out my own opinions. If you guys get offended by my own opinions, I don't care because I'm still going to disable the comments as well because I'm not I'm not going to deal with that. So so yeah, I figured I won't just want to let you guys know about that. But yeah, anyways, that's the end for this video. So so yeah, anyways, I love you guys. Take care. God bless. And remember, just love you guys. Don't forget, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Um, Please leave a like on the video. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Hit the notification bell. And yeah. But uh, like I said, her account is going to be disabled. So, so yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Take care. God bless. Bye.